Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your monthly love forecast for what does your love interest, the one you're here for, the one they want to know about, what do they secretly want to tell you for May? So guys, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you do is click the join button below. And if you like a person read with me, it's jenniferwalkers.com or check out the description box below. So today we're gonna ask, what do they secretly want to tell you, right? So let's find out what they secretly want to tell you. It's going to be whoever you turn on this video for, whoever you want to know about the most, okay? Um, and if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, let's jump right in. What does my Aries love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what do they secretly want to tell Aries? Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards you need to see. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, so we got the Awakening Genius. The higher view. Great big love. Oh, wow. The spirit of gratitude. Closed encounters or close encounters. Broken open. Seeing beyond. Earth magic a power move okay so let me tune in here so I feel like with this one this card right here the awakening genius for me speaks of and let me just move this down so you guys can see it better the awakening genius for me speaks of like the king of swords energy there's so they have the sense that you are a wise decision a wise choice because logically it makes sense to them they're trying to see this from a higher perspective but they know there's wisdom around this because we see an owl here and the owl is moving you can see that the owl is moving there and it's looking at things from above and owls are wise right in their decision making this person feels like you are great big love to them they feel like there is love here and this person is really thankful and grateful to know you with the spirit of gratitude and you are on their mind. They do have the sense of attraction because if you look in this card, there is a flower there. So this person is definitely seeing you in a very positive light. They do sense though that you're closing yourself off here because we see the butterflies in the cage and they want to get to you, right? Because we see there's a butterfly above that cage and it's trying to go to that butterfly that's in that cage. So. And so they'd like to break things open here. They'd like to reveal some things to you about what's going on with them internally. And this person is trying to see beyond the, you know, the surface here. They have an understanding that there's something bigger than this, right? And they're trying to stay grounded around that. We see feet walking on the ground there because this person feels like they'd like to tell you that they'd like make a power move here. Right? They are trying to be very strategic about this energy, but they do want to unlock your heart. You can see that there. There is this, this chest piece and it's on top of that, that ball there and the, the key is inside. So I feel like this person's like, all right, you know, I, I feel like there's wisdom here. I, I am seeing the bigger picture around this and I do feel like there's great love. They are on my mind and I feel very grateful that they have this attraction, but they're, they're putting their barriers up for me. And I wanna break that open. I wanna just reveal things and I wanna get to their heart. I'm trying to be logical about things. I'm trying to see things from a new way and a new perspective when it comes to my wishes and hopes and stay grounded around this situation. But I really want to have an opportunity to take control of this and to open their heart. And if we look, two plus nine, 10, 11, something to do with a choice, Five is for something to do with a challenge or change around this. Two plus six is seven, eight, and putting the work or effort into this. They've been analyzing, thinking, contemplating how to accomplish this, how to complete this. Two plus eight is nine, 10, in order to have this accomplishment and completion. And then three plus six, seven, eight, nine. They have desires for an opportunity here in healing, recovery, and love. Okay, so let's keep going here. What does Aries, what else does Aries love interest secretly want to tell Aries? What else does Aries love interest secretly want to tell Aries? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Okay, so they want to tell you that they have a sense that communication between you and them is the key. So they want to talk and speak with you. And I feel like 
when I look at this card, it's almost like the Gemini kind of energy. Actually, it says new moon in Gemini. I feel like they're not exactly sure um, how to act around you. Okay, that's what I feel like. Because it's like they don't know if they should be that way or this way, right? And when it comes to communicating with you. And they know that they want to release some things that may be negative around the situation. So we see the Scorpio energy. So for me, Scorpio energy, it's full moon Scorpio energy. Scorpio energy speaks of they're really doing some deep analyzing. They're trying to get to the bottom of things, right? They want to see what's beneath the surface here. And they are taking that time to breathe out. They're taking that time to breathe out. So we see going across here. They feel like communication is the key, but they don't know exactly how to communicate this to you because they've been trying to analyze it to try to release any kind of unhealthy things or negativity. Um, and they've really been doing a lot of deep, heavy soul searching, really analyzing, thinking, contemplating, that kind of energy, right? Really trying to go beneath the surface. And they, they, they're taking that time to like really think about things and contemplate things because we see take time to breathe it out. Let's keep going. You and your loved ones are safe. So this is for me like the nine of wands energy. This person's like, I don't want to get hurt. Or they're, they're having a sense that you are defensive here and you got your wall up. Um, and there is a lot of emotions around that because we got the cancer energy going on, moon and cancer. And we see nothing is yet set in stone. So they know that, that you know, there's not a permanence to the situation. So they are understanding that there's something changeable about this or something that they can change about it. They want to change something about that. And the, about this fact that you're defensive here about getting hurt. And they know that there is an ending of this type tough cycle. Okay, so for me, when I see this card, for me, it feels like a protector kind of card. They want to be that nurturing figure. They want to take care of you. They want to help you out. Um, they want to be grounded here. Um, so we come to this, it's saying, they know there's this defensive energy because of emotions. And they know that nothing is set in stone. So they know that things can change here. And they want to end this tough cycle. They want to get you through this tough cycle. A time to give rather than to take right they want to be very giving to you very nurturing very caring here and again we got Virgo energy Virgo energy is the sense of this like the hermit card energy like they've been doing some deep heavy soul searching about you and then we see don't let the past hold you back so they feel like because of these past energies of you getting hurt that's why you're having this defensive energy well, that's why for them it feels like you have your wall up here and we see they're seeing it from a higher perspective, the bigger picture. They can see the whole picture here. Yeah, and I feel like with the Sagittarius energy being there, they're seeing it from a spiritual perspective here. Whether that be conscious for that person or subconscious, they understand the, the bigger ramifications here. They understand the whole thing going on here. So let's go through this. They'd like to communicate with you because they feel like communication is the key or they'd like you to communicate with them because they feel like communication is the key, but they don't know how to do that. They want you to release any negativity and they've been trying to get beneath the surface to find out what's going on. They've been really thinking and contemplating about this. They know there's this defensive energy, but nothing is set in stone here. And it's time to end this tough cycle so you can start anew here. They um, feel like they want to be very giving and nurturing to you and they don't want you to hold back um, because they want, they want you to see the bigger picture that there's a higher perspective to this. Okay, let's keep going here. Now we're going to use Lenormand. Let's see. What does Aries love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What does Aries love and secretly want to tell Aries? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. So we see a person cards coming out. And we see that there's only a matter of time. Yeah, they want to make sure that you're going in the right direction. So let's go through them. Okay, we got birds card energy. We got the moon card energy. We have the clover card energy. We have, that's like the seven of swords energy. But then again, that also can be like the Gemini energy. They don't know what, which way to, to handle that situation. We have the dice energy and we have the mountain energy. 
So the central issue of what they want to tell you is that there's romance here. They feel like there is this energy, this feminine energy or person, where there is something to do with timing is a factor here with, with the fact of going in the right direction. They feel like this person is affecting the timing here. They want to communicate the fact that there's romance and a reconciliation, clover card energy, but they don't know you know, how they should act in front of you. They don't know if they should be happy, sad. They don't know what face to, to, to wear here because they have a sense that they're gonna have to take some kind of risk or gamble, which is causing them some blockage delays and challenges here, okay? So let's keep going here. What does Aries love interest, the one they're here, the one, one, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, what does Aries love interest secretly wanna tell Aries? Show me that they do see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we see ex-partner. There's the deception card. Confusions. Very soon. Money and finance. Wisdom. Book. Nurture. Family long-term commitment. Okay. Let me bring this down so you guys can see it. Okay. There, obviously in the Lenormand, we had a person there, right? So there's something to do with an ex-partner or someone from the past. They, they have a sense that there's some kind of unfinished love connection here. And it's like, they feel like they can't be honest with you about this sense of confusion because they're trying to gain clarity here. So they're trying to make some kind of decision here when it comes to you about money and finance that they have a sense they're like, is money and finance hindering the romantic love life or is there something of value here? Because from their life experience, they feel like you're a wise decision, a wise choice when it comes to love and romance. They're just trying to gain knowledge here or they have their sense that there's something secret here because also that Scorpio energy too, right? Some kind of transformational chance, maybe something secret, something beneath the surface. And they're trying to be very nurturing uh, caring, supportive when it comes to family long-term commitment. They have a sense that there is this ex-partner and gaining knowledge about family long-term commitment because they're confused. They're trying to be honest here about a decision to be nurturing, caring, and be wise in their decision-making here. But they do feel like there's value here with the money card energy, right? Okay, let's keep going. How does Aries love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Aries love interest feel about Aries romantically. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. They want to tell you that they have the sense of heartache when it comes to their desires. Nine of Cups energy. Because of the fact that you walked away, Eight of Cups energy. Or because they want you to walk away from someone so that you can fulfill their wishes here. They are confused. Moon card energy and would like a reconciliation, healing, judgment card energy. This person wants to tell you they have a sense of being left out in the cold or they have a sense of loss here. This person says they want to complete a cycle with you. And they are trying to get over this hurt or pain or they want you to get over this hurt and pain, Ten of Swords energy. And they keep going back and forth in their decision making or they feel like there's this back and forth going on about what you're going to do in the long term basis with the two of pentacles energy at the central issue they want you to have this healing this recovery they're having the sense of heartache when it has a sense of completion or accomplishment with you like they want to take this from one level of commitment to another level of commitment but they feel like there's this seesaw energy of like okay what's going to happen here is juggling going on about this choice pertaining to walking away eight of cups energy and then like they want to fulfill their desires, but they're confused about this ending, this completion, which is leaving this person having the sense of being left out in the cold. We see that they have a sense that you have more than one choice or option when it comes to your desires and they want to put the work or effort into this, but they're confused about this reconciliation and they need some kind of change here in order to accomplish and complete this. A choice needs to be made here. All right, my beautiful Aries, if you guys like it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys would like a personal read with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much. I'm trying to get back on the schedule with the weeklies, so bear with me here. I know there's a lot going on. I posted a video, you guys can check it out um, in case you haven't seen it yet. But um, 
yeah, just give me some time to get back on the schedule with the weeklies, but weeklies will be in another day or two. I love you guys so much, and I will see you soon. God, try to have a great rest of your month. I'll see you soon.